What's up y'all? Dano here. Owner, founder, Dano Seasoning. Now a national product. You can also find these products nationally. The reason why I'm making this video is a lot of people have been asking me lately, how do I start a business? Uh, people ask me about hot sauce seasonings. I got this great flavored something, whatever it be. And so they want a package, a consumer package good. So I'm making this video to help you guys out. So basically, to keep it simple, you're gonna have to figure out all your ingredients. You're gonna have to weigh out your recipe, figure out what your exact ingredients are. Then you're gonna have to manufacture it. When you wanna go into manufacturing, you gotta get a manufacturer's permit. It's really not difficult at all. You gotta contact the health department. The health department will come to your facility which has to meet facility requirements you can simply look that up ask google it's super easy and uh, they will watch you manufacture your goods you just got to do a little research it's not hard at all and they watch you make it and then watch you seal it and they basically give you an approval and then you have approval to manufacture your goods whenever you want now with me with dano's I found out that it took me about eight hours to make about 200 bottles and I could sell 200 bottles in a couple hours. So to me, I was wasting way more time making the product than selling the product. So I went out and found a co-packer, found a co-packer. A co-packer is a co-manufacturer. It's somebody that already manufactures hot sauce, marinara, seasoning, cocktail sauce. They, they put this stuff in the bottles for you. They whip it up. They'll take your ingredients make it FDA approved, put it in the bottle for you, seal it. You're just gonna pay a little bit more because they're gonna mark you up on each ingredient and whatnot. Even the bottles, caps, lids, they'll do all of that for you. So if you wanna spend time manufacturing it yourself to save a little money, go for it. I found it not to be, uh, didn't really make sense for me because I could sell a whole lot more. Just, I could, I could be a lot more successful spending my time selling the product, not making the product. So that's why I use a co-manufacturer to manufacture Danos. It is my recipe. I give them the exact recipe. They send it back to me. They send me a sample. If I approve, then they make it. So that's how that works. Now, other steps that you're gonna to wanna to figure out. Most importantly, your label. Don't go cheap on your label. Your co-manufacturer, your co-packer can also help you with your label requirements. There's certain things that have to be on there, like it has to say what it is, has to have an address, has to have a, a net weight. So it's just simple little things like that that you gotta figure out. If you got any questions, ask Google, don't ask me. Uh, it's super easy. That's the one thing I will tell anybody that wants to start a consumer packaged good. Yes, did it take me a year and a half to do it? Yes, that's because I didn't know what I was doing at all and I was still trying to work on the side and so I wasn't just 100% doing the Danos when I began. So I was slowly figuring out my label design. The label design is the hardest part. You're gonna need some money. Hire you a graphic designer. That's what you need, a graphic designer. If you're lucky, you can do it yourself. More than likely, even if you can make graphic design yourself, it's not gonna be good enough to look professional how you want it to look. So go out there, spend a few bucks, go to fiverr.com, find you some graphic designers. They'll give you a bunch of different samples pick one, but then maybe you need to get a real graphic designer to really fine tune it. Anyways, so figure out your labels, figure out your recipe, and uh, what should I say? Number one, first of all, if you're going to be successful, and I don't mean to sound arrogant when I say this, make sure your product's good. If it's not good, then I'd say good luck. But you gotta have a good product. What makes Dano successful? I 100% believe that it's the best seasoning on the market. So when I make my videos, that's why I tell people you don't know till you Dano because I really believe that. Yes, is it different? Absolutely. That's also what makes me successful because it tastes like no other seasoning on the market. There's a million hot sauces. There's a million barbecue sauces. But what makes you different? Figure out what makes you different. Mine was the flavor and the fact that it wasn't full of a bunch of salt and a bunch of sugar is made differently it was different i'm solving a problem see if you can solve somebody's problem if you can solve people's problems like flavor problems and too much salt something like that you might be on to something but you guys i just wanted to make this video 
to give you a little bit of insight on how these products become national. It doesn't happen overnight. I started my business in 2015. It took me about two and a half years till I really started selling it. And then I sold it for or across the country for three years and then TikTok happened. I happened to, TikTok was the right opportunity for me. I already had my business established. I was doing well on Amazon, my website, and selling door, or not door to door, but selling throughout the country at festivals and flea markets. COVID hit and it gave me the opportunity to just make my videos and bring my product to the people through social media. And it blew up for me, but not only did it just blow up, I could have put all that money in my pocket. I didn't, I chose to reinvest it because my vision was to have a national product, not just to be a lucky, successful guy and put a bunch of money in my pocket. I wanted to change the world in my own way because I knew my product was different and it could change people's lives. So that's what I did. I reinvested my money back into growing the business, made the right business partnerships, brought on the right partners, and we're putting all our money in the right spots and maybe one day we'll make some money because money is a product of success. Now, let's talk about money. So when it comes to setting your prices, you need to understand margins versus a markup. A margin is how much you make on a dollar. A markup is how much you mark up a dollar. They're two totally different things. If I tell you what's 35% margin on a dollar right now, or what's a 35% markup on a dollar right now? Do you know the answers? Most people probably not. When I started my business, I absolutely did not. I thought a margin was a markup. I didn't know there was any difference in the two. It's two totally different concepts. You gotta base your business off of what a profit margin is. You have to make a 35% profit margin to have a successful business. If you can't make a 35% profit margin, you have a hobby, not a business. What else do we want to talk about here? I don't know. Leave some questions in the comments. Maybe I'll make another video. I feel like that's enough for now. You know what? I feel that if this inspires just one person to go out there and make your product, like I said, this is not the hardest thing in the world. You just have to do it. It's figuring out what you have to do and it's not that complicated, especially if you start out using a co-packer, they'll make it super easy for you. They can figure out all your FDA requirements. You don't have to go figuring all that out yourself. You do have to figure all that out yourself if you're gonna manufacture it. That's the road I went down. That's also why it took me longer. It kind of like held me back for a little while. If I would've used the co-packer out of the beginning, I may have packaged beforehand earlier and became more successful earlier on. But you know what? It's the hard work and it was the determination, the fact of figuring out the pivot, the pivoting that I had to do early on to figure out where I needed to be, where I needed to get the product, to adjust my margins, to make the right decisions. If it weren't for all that, maybe I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So like I said, hopefully this inspires somebody to go out start your business today start figuring it out and uh, like i said if you got questions leave them in the comments if you haven't followed me yet follow me now and also go over follow danoseasoning.com i'll put it down below later keep sprinkling